Let's begin by using a 10 millimeter wrench. This is the perfect size to fit the nut on, on the bottom. Remove it by rotating it counterclockwise. Go ahead and remove the lock washer and then the pawl or the bent piece of metal. Take the remaining lock washer off and then the vinyl sleeve. Go ahead and leave the next nut in place. Next you're going to grab your adjustable wrench and you're going to remove the large retaining nut. Again counterclockwise will loosen this. Once it becomes loose enough you can use your fingers to quickly remove that nut. There is a small lock washer there. Please remove that and set that aside. And the next part is, is we're going to want to push that mechanism through the top. The easiest way to do that is to either twist the mechanism a couple times or push it up with your palm like so. Once you've removed that mechanism from there, just take a cloth and clean up the area. Prepare it for the next latch. Okay, now we're ready to install a new latch. To begin, let's go ahead and remove the latch from its packaging. You're going to notice that the latch has already been assembled. So in order to install it, we're going to first need to remove the bent piece of metal called the pawl. We are going to need a 10 millimeter wrench to remove that first nut. Remove the nut and the lock washer. Then go ahead and remove the pawl by pulling straight up. You can also remove the flat washer. And in this case, you can actually just push the whole mechanism up through there, but I'm actually going to go ahead and take this part apart by twisting it to show you exactly how the mechanism works. So let's start off by seeing how the mechanism works. If I were to twist it or lock it closed, you will see that the mechanism will spin around and then it will pull itself up or compress. It will compress this little black washer. If it's adjusted correctly, it compresses slightly. You can adjust this nut by loosening it or tightening it, and this is sets the adjustment or calibrates the actual latch. Note if you adjust it too tight, when you go to compress it, you can over squeeze that mechanism of the washer. Do not do that. Loosen it up to a point where it can actually function correctly and just verify it. In the next step, let's go ahead and remove the very large lock washer that's still in place. and you also remove the locking nut washer below that. The next mechanism you'll see below that is the little rubber washer. Leave that in place. Next we just want to go ahead and open the lid latch so that it's oriented correctly. So that way when we push it straight down through you'll notice it's in an open position. You can again verify to make sure it's open or closed by looking at the mechanism here. Now let's go ahead and put that locking washer back on and put the large retaining nut. Finger tight at first. Then we'll take the adjustable wrench and snug that up. You just want to tighten it nice and snug. And if you want, you can verify the mechanism is still functioning correctly by actuating it in or out. Okay, now we're going to get ready to put it back together. So you'll see I slid the vinyl sleeve on place first. And then you want to go ahead and put on your flat washer, then your lock washer. Then we put the retaining or the pawl or the bent piece of metal, the lock washer, and then the final retaining nut. And note the orientation of that pawl. 
I'm going to make sure it's bent in that particular order as shown. Use your 10 millimeter wrench to just snug this into place. And at this next step, we're just going to verify to make sure that the mechanism works okay and it's oriented correctly. So I'm closing the latch. I'm verifying that it swings around and it compresses in an upward position. Next step, we're going to verify that the latch is actually adjusted correctly. The proper amount of pressure will just compress the latch mechanism just enough to take out any slop or any slack in between the latch catch and the lid itself. So you'll note that that is 0.3220, or it's the same thickness of the latch catch mechanism. To adjust this, we actually have to partially disassemble the latch mechanism itself by removing the nut, the lock washer, and even the small pawl or the bent piece of metal there that swings around it. Again, note the orientation. The next step is you can actually remove the vinyl sleeve so that you can reveal where that adjustable nut is. Makes it a little easier to show. In this case, we don't have the rubber washer below it, but this is the portion that which you can adjust up or down to make sure that you're setting the correct setting to where it compresses to. Again, you can adjust this loose. That would reduce the amount of pressure. If we were tightening this nut closer to the lid itself, that would actually create compression. After you're done, go ahead and reassemble as shown here. And we're going to snug this back together. And then we do want to go ahead and tighten everything back up to verify the adjustment. You'll be going clockwise in order to tighten this nut. And once it's been tight, at that next step, you can go ahead and install that into your machine and verify it is coming around and compressing correctly. Be sure not to create too much pressure because that will prematurely wear out your latch. It only needs enough pressure just to swing underneath and remove any gap. To properly verify this, test it without a pad in place. Oh.